Pass out to the board, and Jamie can continue, I guess. So what I'm going to pass out to you guys, this is uh, any of the new um, or the proposed positions or changes. There was a couple in the town clerk's office and some in legal. They're all outlined on here. And then also it was asked for us to, for Jamie and I, to look at all of the um, Increases for some of the seasonal laborers from the 11 to the $14, so there's a synopsis on a bag in there. But the elected officials and other board positions can, that are under the other boards, like the planning board and stuff. So, Would you like to approach these, Mr. Chairman? I'm trying to think. I, so, it's, I, I would recommend Town Clerk right off the bat because it's the first page and it's pretty simple. Sure. Is that how you have this? Yep, that's fine. Town Clerk was uh, going to be happy to answer any questions. My understanding is the board had some questions with respect to uh, clarifying what they're what they're looking to do there. So my understanding is the Town Clerk has proposed adding a full time person, 100 percent full time. So in that town clerk proposed position changes 2018, you see what the total cost is for a year at that 59, 549, 12. It's also broken down if it were to pass in this year to be uh, for the 39 weeks. And also in doing that, there's a recommendation by the by the town clerk to uh, increase or change a position, um, and that's there for the senior bookkeeper at 39 weeks for that year. I'd be happy to answer any questions with respect to adding that position. I believe that's you know a justification that town clerk should make to you to you folks um, for anecdotally we see the lines increasing but i think uh, she should come in and, and defend the position of why it's important to increase it i wanted to answer your questions with regard to the finance impact I'd be happy to answer any of those and she did that night when she, yeah, she did she did yeah. come in yeah. Yeah. yeah and explain express why she want, needed the position and wanted right. the change questions Regina? Um, no, I mean, I'm just looking at this right now, but thank you. I, I would say this, but, Mr. Chairman, uh, if I may, and I'm jumping sure. out here. Uh, they're doing, th it's a, it's a multi-million dollar business, three point something million dollars in revenues and fees, and, and uh, I would move the um, uh, entire budget from uh, the town clerk, that's correct, uh, to incorporate these uh, uh, personnel changes and charges. Uh, the cost for 39 weeks, 44661 and uh, the senior bookkeeper, 39 weeks for 2676 Is that correct? Am I reading this That's right? correct. You're right. 85 cents. I would, I would move that budget and those uh, personnel changes uh, with that data. All I would ask, I just caution the board that, that also in addition, what's not here, is in order to accommodate that additional personnel, there will be some... Uh, Manipulation of the workspace necessary right. uh, in order to accommodate that fourth window, which is, I understand, her goal there. Uh, there is not money currently carried for that, but that's something that's going to be required to do, and I'm sure we'll we'll deal with that. But I just want to put that on the table. Yeah. Yeah. We have a motion, and we have a second. Yeah. I'll second, but can I just ask a question first? Sure. Because I'm sorry, but this town clerk assistant full time and senior book. So those are two new positions. No. The full-time person is a completely new, 100% new right. position. Okay, and then the this other is, is additional for the senior book. Correct. Keeper. Basically, it's a promotion. Okay. It's a bump. Correct. Right. right in the contract, in the Teamster contract, right now, there's a bookkeeper position and a senior bookkeeper. Okay. And so she has someone in the bookkeeper position that she's wanting to promote to the senior bookkeeper. Correct. Is that correct? That's correct. That's correct. Okay. All right. So, and then we have the paralegal for. That's, that's the another next. Question. That's another issue. Yeah, but we do. Are we do it? Is this? We just doing the town clerk right now? Yeah. Just the town clerk. Okay. Yeah. I'll second the motion. Rick, do you have anything? All right, I have a question, and I don't want to put anybody on the spot. That's why we're here. Do you have any thoughts on this? Well, I periodically come out and look at what's going on downstairs, and uh, we have a lot of very frustrated citizens coming in to trying to register cars and register to vote and do a lot of other things, and that line frequently 
is halfway across the room, and at the end of the month or the beginning of the following month, it's almost out the doors. So it's very, very long. There are long waits. People are getting very frustrated. We need to do something to solve that time problem. So I think you need to do this. Do you have any thoughts on this? No, I, again, I, we've listened to Jane speak on this, and we absolutely see that. You know, I like to see some high data to show the increase and such, but but it's very difficult for her to produce that data. I had a conversation with her today, but again, anecdotally, we can we can tell you we see it. You know, I get called from time to time when there is a citizen down there who is less than cordial, um, and have to go down and kind of assist with with diffusing some of those. We've definitely seen an increase at least since I've been here in that. Absolutely. Um, so. I, I would say this was the number of people there, and again, uh, license and permits. I know permits is in there, but uh, $3.739 billion business at those windows. That's a it's big a business. It's a lot. I can, I can tell you, Mr. Chairman, uh, the assistant time manager is absolutely correct. Uh, we in the past have had maybe one or two people a year that we're having problems with. That That is constantly climbing now because of this aggravation. Happens quite frequently now. Okay. And in, we're voting on the whole budget, then you're saying, Phil? Yes, we're sir. We're voting on her three percent raise. So too. we haven't talked about that. That's an issue again. It's it's you've historically done several things. When it's come through as another elected official, when there's a request in there last year and in other times, this board has just passed that on as a part of the budget. Um, and she can justify or the elected official speak to that. That's a challenge you have with several of the boards here, you know. Right. Um, so that's what you did last year. You can choose to do that or you can choose to do something different with it. It's really a political discussion for you folks to make on that. Um, but 3%, uh, you know, I did some looking today on what her salary is uh, using the old NHMA data, mm -hmm. um, and it doesn't seem out of line from what I see in there, absolutely. For the record, Mr. Chairman, the three percent that was requested is sixty-eight thousand eight hundred and fifty-three dollars and sixty-three cents. Any other discussion? No. Well, to All be right. clear, that three percent wasn't that entire number. That's what the new salary would be at the end of the addition of the three percent. Just didn't want to think, you know, right, right. Be clear on that. That's mm -hmm. what the new salary would be with the three percent. It's currently sixty-one nine nine two. Yep. Um, it would then move up to with the three percent sixty-three eight fifty-three. I would just bucks. Yeah. like to say, since we're discussing about how people act when they're in line, they ought to just pay attention to what happens in another state, because as long as the lines are here, they're nothing compared to when you live in Florida, California, or anywhere else I've ever lived. Or when you got to go to the state. Yeah. Or the DMV, like or, yeah. Yeah. an hour and a half. Yeah. And actually, These lines are nothing. A yeah. lot of people, someone True. had posted about the town, you know, how you can do the registrations online. And I was surprised that a lot of people, I mean, I just saw it on social media, that a lot of people didn't know that they could do that. I just saw that, mine today came on my phone. Yeah, if, you already, if you're registering the same vehicle, you don't have to come here. You That's can right. do it all online. Yes. Right. Yeah. And all of that is on our website, and folks are able to do that. The only other thing I, I would say is that Rusty's not here and we're voting on a budget. That's, we're, vote, we're voting on something that we said we were going to get more information from. For. That's the only thing I would say. Drew call, you're the chairman. You want to postpone it until like next time. Yep. And if I'm out next week, well, we know you're. We don't we? You know my position, right? We know your position. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Got it. Thanks, Mr. Chairman. Okay. <laughs> uh, what do you want to take up next? Uh, legal. Legal. All right. So legal, they were um, added actually at the administrative level. Uh, you get two issues there: the paralegal and the intern. Uh, I'll talk to the intern program first. I think this was a very good ad for us. Um, this year, yeah. uh, Mark was able to recruit a UNH law student uh, to come in uh, and work for free uh, during the summer. Added value, um, and I think it was a good program to expand. Um, and in doing so, we think as we can recruit other people, I think it's a good opportunity to pay an intern to have a more effective working, choose a better candidate, that type of thing. It's a lot of work, and I think that's a reasonable thing to start. The second part, the paralegal, um, that was really in response, as I understand it, from, from the manager, uh, response from some of the board members, given the workload in there. Um, that's a fair amount of money to add to this budget. And, you know, my position is, I know Mark is interested in it, my position is paralegal uh, going rate is substantially higher than $25 an hour. Um, 
you know, it's board's choice. I would recommend, you know, personally my recommendation, I've shared this with Mark, is that we forego the paralegal this year and expand the intern, basically test drive it more with more hours, pay somebody that we can count on to be there more consistently, and then see how that goes. And if that continues to work positively, then maybe we consider that paralegal further. All right. And again, we have a space need issue, uh, depending on the number of hours, putting additional people yeah. in there. That's my personal take on it. I don't know if Fred shares that or not. But. He does. Uh, looking at it from uh, the perspective of what you're going to do with a paralegal, uh, if you're going to work that person uh, as a regular employee, you don't have the room. The intern uh, can work around the existing work staff that's up there. We don't have a place for these people to sit unless somebody's out. So maybe we do the intern to start, build on that, and if we need a paralegal at that point in time we can justify it, then come back to the board with that justification after we do the research and the work. It's a lot of money. Okay. Um, Rick? I agree with what Fred just said. Regina? Well, but is the intern going to be available for what? I mean, I thought the whole point was so that Mark could actually be doing lawyer things and he could have someone in the office doing all the, filing all the motions, doing all the research for him. I mean, you know, I worked as a paralegal for, you pretty much, you, you're an attorney, but you just, you didn't pass the bar. You do all the same work. Right. So I don't think that. I mean, an intern is necessarily going to, I mean, I think it will help them out, but I don't think it's a replacement for a paralegal. I mean, I don't know. I think maybe don't have the intern and have paralegal. That would be my suggestion. Because I think the budget is still, even with that, it's what, $240,000, the legal budget? And if you yes. add... Yeah. No, it's 225 with the paralegal in there and the intern out. Right. It's, only two, it's 225 Isn't that Yeah. What? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's already in there? Yeah. Oh, all right. I think yeah. we should wait till Rusty's here. Well, the, the only trouble is, I know Phil has a fairly strong opinion on this one, I believe. I, I shouldn't speak for anybody. Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, I, I I did, but as you know, there was a reorganization, and now um, legal comes under uh, Mr. Welch. Yeah. And I know I'm, I'm free to say that, but there, oh, was, yeah. there was an organization, and now um, I'm more inclined uh, to uh, uh, go with... Uh, uh, we looked at it and listen to them. Okay, so we, you find wait, we're us waiting for Rusty? Oh yes, sir. Oh okay. sure. We did look at it, and we what we found was that the paralegal could only be here half time, and we really need that person full time to do what you want to do. But I got no place to put them physically. Okay. Cool. We don't know. Good. We okay. done that. Um, Proposed increases for elected positions that that's So the there. elected positions you have you have the town clerk, tax collector is the same thing. Both come in and propose to you three percent. I think that's a decision for you folks. Historically you've passed that on when they've given something that, that is reasonable. Yeah. Um, I'd suggest you do that here as well. Then we'll talk about in general there were some other issues that were raised um, for what what did we do with the, the real part time folks. That these are the folks who are uh, worked on the DPW, seasonal laborers doing trash picking work. They have struggled for a significant period of time filling some of those. And we do think that pay is part of that. I think at some point they were nine dollars, eleven dollars, and we were having trouble getting anybody to apply for those positions. Yeah. Um, same with uh, folks to assist in the rec department for the summer with assistance of parks maintenance and that type of thing. So we had a global discussion about what should that number be? You can go to McDonald's and, and work for $15. So we, with some of those positions, we recommended and we put in the budget that they go to $14 is sort of our base minimum there for those types of positions. There are a couple others there that may be smaller, but generally that's the number we're recommending. Um, and we've made those adjustments within this budget. I would recommend that we do that. We need to start getting more people in public works in the summer to assist. We need to have more assistance uh, dealing with some of these issues for the parks to be much more effective with some of the great work that's been done to upgrade them. I agree with that. I agree. Uh, we can wait for Rusty and then. Um, yeah, I agree. It's 
Okay, so the chart there, it just breaks down the number of hours that were in the budget, all the positions, what they're currently being paid for, according to the 17 budget, and then right. the increase for the 18. That's kind of your breakdown. So you guys can see it all right there instead of yep. looking across the budget. Yep. But to be clear, these are true part-time, non-union seasonal, positions, seasonal, seasonal employees, most of them. Yeah. They're all seasonal for this thing here. Yep. Any other questions that came up regarding wages? Wages would be happy to answer for you.